Greetings fellow gamers and survival fans, this is Small Archangel and welcome to The Dead Linger. This game's been on Steam for a long time now, uh, I've been following it for about a year, maybe a little bit longer than that, um, but I haven't played it for a while and I haven't done a, a video on it for a while either. I did a video uh, quite a few months back now uh, in the old build, but this is the new build we have build 15 called new blood which is using the unreal engine which i believe is a new engine for this game uh, so this is the beta opt-in alpha so it's a beta within an alpha so really this is just a first look so there's a lot of stuff here that doesn't really do anything at the moment there's lots of settings as it says here which don't actually make there's no audio settings the graphic settings uh resolution okay we've had a recent update which means that we can change our res which is good so i'm going to do that yes please and uh, resolution scale okay they're updating this this uh build became available very recently um okay that still didn't do anything all right so we've got that all on pretty high now so that's good it should look as good as it can do all right and we're going to give it a go um interface mouse we still don't actually have anything in there so that's fine all righty ho we got a bunch of stuff here now i'm going to just create a new world just because uh, that way you can see what happens when you start absolutely from scratch i actually played this yesterday they've updated since yesterday so i have a feeling that now that they've got to this stage updates are going to be fairly thick and fast so let's see recreate no enter selected world create a new world okay so we're just going to call that there we go and we can put it a seed but it's not going to make any difference at this point because it is not a random generated world and that is the main thing that is different is here here is that we do not have a random generated world anymore we have pepper valley so welcome to pepper valley folks this is what it looks like whoa <laughs> this is what it looks like at the moment and as i say this is very early alpha um so what we're doing here today is more or less sightseeing with zombies that's interesting there's a sideboard sticking out of the house and there's a zombie clipping through the road. So we're going to encounter a lot of these guys. I swear they've sped up since yesterday. Um, yeah, they have. That's quite scary. Um, there is real kind of um, yeah limit to what we can do at the moment. There is plenty of loot and so stuff. I'll show you. Okay, so... Go on, open, darn it. Okay, I'm going to shut the door because mostly at the moment... That seems to keep them out. There is no guarantee there won't be a zombie in here. So a lot of stuff is placeholder. Uh, can I drop that now? For some reason it's just... Yeah, this is one of the bugs that happens. I've now got this sort of sticking off me in spite of the fact that it shouldn't be. So I have no idea how to drop that. There doesn't seem to be a functioning drop key at the moment. So yeah, that's... Oh, here we go. Now we've got a chicken in a can. Now a lot of uh, items are placeholders, so a lot of stuff looks like that. I have absolutely no idea what that is. I'm not going to hit you with a pair of cargo pants, so I'm just going to run away from this at this point. <laughs> yeah, we've got quite a lot of interest there. Um, and a couple there as well. So I think running is probably going to be a good idea. Uh, combat at the moment is very, very rough and ready to, uh, well, from my ex experience yesterday relatively non-existent hitboxes seem to be um good lord he's moving in a bizarre kind of way you know what i can't flame and hit him oh i managed to hit him that time okay uh and yeah it's quite difficult to tell whether you've hit him or not so, ah, sometimes because where did those guys come from uh because they just don't react okay these guys are very much more lively than they were yesterday they're really going for me now Yesterday, a lot of them were just standing around and not doing anything at all. So I think that's one of the things that's dropped in the latest um, update. You can see the icons to the right-hand side of the screen there. Um, one of the things that seems a little bit buggy to me is the hunger system, which I've noticed even if you're 
um, hunger is completely full uh, and I'm assuming these blocks here are going to be kind of you know populated or, or you know the world's a little bit empty at the moment um, the hunger even if your your stomach icon is completely full um, you still get your stomach growling at you and telling you that you're hungry so that's obviously not working quite as intended either you can still sprint or run even if your lungs uh, are empty and as for the bladder icon which is your water level so it's a bit um, yeah it's a bit sort of counterintuitive that one um, that one uh, there doesn't seem to be any items which will actually slake your thirst so I'm not sure I haven't played for long enough to I don't know what that is just check for zeds um, I haven't played for long enough to figure out whether that's really gonna you know do me a do me a mischief if I run out of water uh oh here we got a zombie but well, kind of want to find some weapons in here if I've already got one I might be able to deal with him maybe possibly although as I say it's extremely glitchy I've hit him a couple of times I have no idea how long it's going to take to kill this dude with my bare hands and there's a lot of clipping going on as well can I shove him out the window there he goes he's gone through the floor all right and I am still wielding a pair of trousers uh, let's see if we can and now I'm wielding a pair of trousers on the end of a piece of piping this is yeah this is what we've got at the moment to deal with unfortunately it's just how it goes so as I say uh, there's a wrench there but I have had re a wrench in my hand before and it really didn't do me any much much, much favors oops I just hit the door um, okay so uh, and I just hit it again <laughs> that's not what I meant to do oh no open I quite like the w way that the doors work in this game actually the whole sort of actually pushing and pulling things seems quite immersive to me I have no idea what that is there is not a zombie behind the door I have no idea what that is again it's kind of placeholder so we can't really tell it's a riot vest that's good for some reason I get notified uh, twice that I've picked up a riot vest and things do have this nasty Ted look at this this is not the right res is it um see if I can resolve that actually um that you see I didn't put in 16 by 19 I put in my that one right there and it just ignored me just is that yeah okay yeah resume okay does that look no it does not okay so <laughs> the resolution is not working properly either and it was actually in the right resolution yesterday there's a zombie there but I don't think it's gonna come for me because he's clipped through the floor Okay, so I might just have a go at him now. I'm not quite sure if I can even hit a zombie that's kind of part of the floor, really. No, but I'm not fairly sure he can't hit me either, so maybe best not worry about ah him, on the other hand. Oh, I just hit him. Oh, this is one of the non-responsive ones. I'm really not sure where their hitboxes are. And I'm assuming that these uh, models, these zombie models, are a little bit placeholder at the moment because they're all just wandering around in their pants. They all look absolutely identical, as do player models. Will you die? Yes, thank you. And through the floor he goes. Okay, so I'm going to try picking up some of this. That's some cargo pants. Well, I don't really need cargo pants. A hoodie. All right, so I'm wearing a hoodie. I've got a pair of cargo pants there. I've no idea if I'm actually able to drop those. Oh, I think I did. Yes, I did. That's good. That is definitely progress from yesterday because yesterday I could not drop anything. Uh, so that is definitely progress. Just bugged by the uh, the resolution, really, because that's bothering me somewhat. We've got a gun clipping through the wall and some ammo there and a manky apple. Okay, well, I'm going to uh, heed the call of my stomach now and eat a chicken in a can. Now, that should fill my stomach up, but absolutely doesn't look like it has. <laughs> which isn't very helpful okay we've got some more food here doesn't seem to have okay did that fill me up at all I don't think it did okay this might be a new bug folks we might have a new bug that oh the, this this cat isn't actually being eaten that's really weird eat it okay this is a new bug 
which means I'm probably going to starve to death before I can get to the end of the video because I can't actually eat anything. Uh, some things disappear from my inventory when I eat them, some things do not. Now I've got a cleaver there and I'm really not sure that I'm going to actually be able to equip that cleaver. Yeah, okay, this is another one of the problems we have which is I've got multiple things in my hands simultaneously. Uh, so now I've dropped something on the floor. I've got a cleaver instead. No, I probably haven't got the cleaver instead in point of fact. I've probably just lost my pipe. Now, one of the things I kind of like about this new incarnation is I can actually see my own feet, which is kind of cool. Um, I have no weapon now. I must remember that. Um, look at all this stuff there. Maybe I can get this now. Oh, I can't pick anything up at all now. Oh, no, I can. But I can only drag it because apparently my inventory is too full. Okay. Let's see if we can drop that. And, like, put some of this to... Oh, that was invisible, was it? Okay. Come here, come here. I don't want it. All right, let me take this now. Thank you. That's good. Uh, I've still got something sat on the end of it, but hey. Okay, there we go. Um, no idea what that was. Your stomach is growling. Yeah, probably going to die at this rate. That's a question mark. No idea what a question mark is, but... Clothing you can put up... Well, you can throw it across the room. I have no idea. Um, you can put it on if it's in a, if for the, a slot that's not currently occupied. Thank you. Um... So, what I'm planning on doing is just grabbing a load of food, and then once I've filled my inventory up with food, I'm just gonna... You know, I'd really like that katana. Um, I'm not sure if I can actually equip it. Let me just see if I, you see some stuff you just don't seem to be able to drop properly. Come on. Come on. Let me move stuff. Okay, that should do. Uh... Oh yeah, still got a pair of trousers stuck to the end of it, but hey, we weren't expecting perfection. My hopes were not high, and as I say, it does seem to have improved slightly since yesterday. I'm not sure I can slice his head off, so we won't bother. Okay, let's get out of here. As you can see, there's uh, limited furniture in these buildings here, and some of the buildings don't yet have any furniture in them at all. So I'll just see if I can take down one of these guys. Oh, okay. I thought it was being unresponsive. Now he's... There we go. We've taken him down a couple of swipes. That's pretty decent. Katana, definitely worth having. We don't have the... There they go. And through the floor. I wonder if they're supposed to go through the floor when they die. Because yesterday um, they didn't do that. So who knows? Who knows? This is alpha. Um... We don't have the range of weapons that you have in the normal alpha at the moment. As I say, this is an opt-in alpha. But you can see the new models that we have here. Yeah, I mean you. We've seen plenty of you. And you're all the same with your scary red eyes. Okay. Um, and yeah, the architecture is really quite nice. These sort of brownstone terrace, whatever you'd call them. No windows yet. I don't know if there's going to be actual glass windows ultimately, but for the moment, his hitboxing seems to have improved since yesterday also. This is good. Just troubled by the fact that I can't eat anything, which, you know. But as I say, kind of tourists in this zone at the moment. It's just a look-see. So we can see what Pepper Valley looks like. And this bit of it is the only part uh, uh, that we can actually has actually been populated, either with zombies or with uh, buildings or what have you at the moment. So... Just, oh, he got me. Never mind. And uh, so far, it looks pretty sweet. I mean, this is not on very high settings because, quite simply, it won't allow me to put it on high settings. I try putting it on high settings. Oh, it always says it's got that resolution, but I really don't believe it because if it had, it wouldn't look so weird. Um, and it did actually look better yesterday so I'm really not sure what's happened there it's kind of gone a little bit strange anyway so onwards we've got like an army camp here where it's obvious that the army has tried to 
um, and close a part of the world off. So we can see we'll probably get a much better, ooh, heck, sense of story from this closed world. And ultimately, I think it will be, ah, you damn it, I'm going to die here. Uh, it would be very much nicer done as well. Um, we've got some stuff there which I'm not going to be able to pick up. And we've got sort of meditents and stuff. There's some good stuff in there if you can slice your way through the Zeds to get at it, that is. And you can see how the zombies obviously overran this. There's all the body bags there. Whoa. <laughs> uh, and there's some fencing, but you can still get out into the countryside beyond. Now, as I say, there's not a lot out there. And in point of fact, when we've gotten a little way, there is roads. The devs have been, I've been watching the videos and I've been watching the, the dev log and what have you um, to see uh, what's happening. You are getting very hungry. Yeah, let's see if we can actually eat some food and, you know, actually eat it in a way that fills up my stomach. No, it doesn't seem to, does it? It does not seem to make a single solitary difference and in fact that one doesn't seem to even no none of what I eat is making a difference and some of it's not even disappearing from my inventory which is all very odd because it did work yesterday honest okay so we've got roads uh, they've got sort of those lofty peaks and everything as well and you can see what it says now you're outside the alpha containment zone you can explore but there isn't much to see out here you've just yet no loot or food you may also encounter visual oddities and bugs you've been warned okay well you see some of them in the zone they have finished you see this kind of hole here as well where the roads kind of on top of but we got that in the, the random gen world as well so you can see the roads kind of laid down but there's a big sort of gap in it but ultimately it does have the promise to be a really quite stunning looking uh, piece of scenery here. I'm just going to scoot round the outskirts of town here and show you some of uh, the other prefabs that we've got, which are pretty good. They look pretty good and the uh, lighting looks good. And as I say, if you've got the settings up high, which I haven't been able to do, they just don't work very, very well at the moment, um, it looks great far distance I've got is set to apparently but it clearly isn't so all these terrible lods um, but if we go up to one of these this is kind of a semi-built house you are starving well that's just tough isn't it really can't do a thing about that so apologize in advance I'm probably just gonna keel over dead yeah and that's so high up we can't even get in there so heaven only knows how anyone's supposed to access that house if it's their own house hovering buildings is one of the known uh, bugs and oddities <laughs> okay let's have one last look uh, go uh, at saving my life here and eating stuff okay some of this stuff disappears but when it does it doesn't feed me it does not feed me anything my stomach remains empty so that's nothing i can do about that that's pretty much going to dictate the uh length of time i can oh look there's two more katanas here i think oh no that's a poker and that's a katana choose your weapon um so there we go we also have and if i could do this before i starve to death i don't know what that is my inventory clearly still thinks that it's Okay, no. Uh, still thinks that it's full because I can't pick that up. Um, even though I've pretty much eaten... Oh my gosh, look at all those zombies just standing around in mid-air. I've got the sound turned way down. The only way you can turn sound down at the moment that I've noticed is by... Um, yeah, I did it. I used a sound manager of my own uh, computer because uh, the sound settings within the game... Uh, well, there weren't any, so... <laughs> So I've got it turned down fairly uh, low because I didn't want uh, the sound to sort of the balance to be off. So it's probably a little bit too quiet of anything. So we're just going to have a quick look at the um, the industrial zone here. 
with these great big sort of warehouse buildings, most of which don't contain a thing at the moment. Some more zombies sort of swimming in, a, in, the, uh, in the ground. And a very big drop to go down. Pop. So also slightly boogie legs where I'm wearing trousers and then when I walk I'm not wearing trousers. So again, very placeholder. But you're about to die of starvation. Thanks for the warning. Oh, we have to pull this one. Okay, and of course there are zombies inside here as well. So we do have um, like a load of pallets and crates and stuff. And on top of the odd, you know, crate, you can see these sort of cans of food and what have you. Oh, yo, yo, go away, man. I'm about to die of starvation, and oh, yeah, this is the thing. You have to crouch to get through there, but crouching slows you down, but it doesn't actually make it look like you're doing anything different. It doesn't look like you're actually crouching. Uh, so that's another oddity at the moment, is that when you crouch, you don't actually... It doesn't look like you crouch, so. Okay, so those actually disappear, but they do not go into my into my system, so that's great, isn't it? So here we go. So that's, that's basically uh, an introdu introduction to Pepper Valley, the populated part of it, or the part of it that is currently being built on. Obviously, the devs are working on this all the time. Um, and so updates may come sort of thick and fast now for this um, and it's it's cool to come and have a look around at it but I wouldn't buy the game uh, based on this at the moment obviously you can see uh, gameplay wise we it's you can't play it because if, if, if you're gonna starve to death then it's extremely difficult to kill the zombies uh, it's difficult to find the right kind of loot I've run out of water and there's no way of actually filling up water meat because there's nothing to do it with as far as I can make out and yeah I can't eat so um, that's fairly terminal really no matter how carefully you play um, and yeah the world is is very limited and uh, the population of it is we've got a little squirt over there by the way so I can imagine that we'll have all of the things that we knew and loved from uh, the other alpha uh, squirts Leylands and maybe some uh, weapons with uh, weapons with names you know people's supporters names on them and what have you but uh yeah only small amount has been put in here for the moment let's see we pull this oh, and there's a zombie there we still we have a torch as well like we did before he's totally ignoring me oh no he's not totally ignoring me die okay and we pull that also and that's obviously a shop but there's nothing in it and you can see the graphics here there's uh, no texture on these stairs whatsoever <laughs> so <laughs> it's very placeholder indeed but I gotcha hey I might be about to die but you're dying first and some of these uh, yeah these doors weren't here yesterday either so come on get the door well, there's two of them okay that's that is a slight bug I'm never going to be able to get in there am I they furnished this room too damn it that's so unfair I'm going to be able to go in there and I and see the furniture that's been put in uh, since I last played yesterday and I can't because there's two doors and I can't even batter it down so anyway yeah you can see that there is some furniture in there it's just uh, we can't get in the music is very atmospheric as well, that's something else I would add. Mm, great, so that door is now in my way and I can't move on the... Yeah, okay. Here we go. Oh, there's... Yeah, this room has been furnished since I was last here too. Uh, there's a TV and stuff. Get out of my living room. It's quite cosy in here. Get out of it. Get out of it. Get out of it. Okay. <laughs> If I aim for your head, that seems to work. Nothing else really seems to do the trick. No. Nothing on TV these days. Go on. And a bathroom. With the zombie's head or something. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, obviously, I'm about to starve uh, to death. 
my flashlight's just died, which is what happens often as well. Uh, which means I can't find the stairs anyway. I can see my own feet, that's about it. Um, the, the, the torch doesn't last very long. Come on, open. Oh, no, there's the stairs. Here we go. Okay, and I've never played for long enough to uh, ascertain, um, you know, to, to be able to play at night either. Because, yeah, you tend to sort of starve to death before that happens. Or maybe I won't starve to death, maybe. No, that's not happening. Maybe I won't actually starve to death. Maybe I'll just be spammed by messages telling me I'm going to starve to death. I don't know. We shall see. So there's Swartz with a little zombie having a bit of a fit. Oh, and just walking straight through the window and doing some weird stuff. Okay, whoa, so that's all very familiar as well. And then we have ladders. We can go up ladders uh, just by pressing, um, well, W and S. So W for up, S for down. Getting to the top of them's a little bit interesting as well. There we go. And so you can see the top of the roof would probably be my chosen destination for building a base. Oh, not even building, just dropping stuff. Let's see if I can drop that. Looks like it. If that lot of good, it'll actually do me to do so. Well, looks like I dropped one of them, but not the other two. Maybe dropping things is a little bit glitchy also. Okay, I managed to drop the candy bar, but I have absolutely no clue where it just went. And I dare say picking this up again will not enable me to eat it. Well, I did. I managed to eat both. However, neither has made the slightest impact on my uh, satiation level. So. so there you go. Those of us who are about to die salute you. We may as well. And I can jump up onto this, believe it or not. The uh, climbing up ladders animation has been removed, which is kind of a shame because uh, hovering up ladders does not look too terrific but there we go I think I've probably died there we are you are dead <laughs> so you are what you eat well dead is what I am so you know <laughs> I ate an awful lot of stuff but it made no difference so there you go that is the delightful bugginess uh, and when you spawn back in you can spawn in Right next to a zombie! Oh, for goodness sake, that's really unfair. And much as I'd like to just jump out the window at this point, I can't even do that. You can see where your corpse is through that. Um, on the wind, on the <laughs> ledge of that. It's probably just as well I can't accidentally jump out of here. Oh, maybe it does have glass, actually. But a lot of the windows at the moment don't. And I'll try and get back to my body. I don't think it's going to happen, to be honest. Oh, there we go. You are dead. Yeah, that time I really did kill myself. So I will leave you at that point, folks. You can see there are lots of uh, ways to die in this game. Uh, so, yeah, by all means, check it out and have fun. But at the moment, not particularly playable. We will watch its progress with interest. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for watching. And from me for now, bye-bye. <laughs>